everybody. So the leaves are changing and the seasons are turning and one of the my favorite dishes to make is apple crisp. This is something that I make with my mom. When it comes fall, we just went apple picking and got these beautiful apples. You can use either Fiji or any of the baking apples. Uh, these happen to be honey crisp um, and I think they're going to turn out really well. So we're going to start. I already peeled these. So we have two of them, but they're quite big, so we're not going to use that many of them. So we're going to go ahead and just slice these. Take all these out. And then we're going to take our slices and just fill up our pan. I like making a circle shape, but if you have a square pan, just however you get them to fit in there. I'm just gonna take this out. So the recipe that I'm using, uh, it recommends that you use two and a half cups but I've already made this before, so I know this pan is roughly about that much. So we're just gonna fit as many as we can in there. Okay, and then we're gonna make the crisp part of it. Flip these off to the side. So I have a cup of flour, I have a cup of sugar, and I have half a cup of butter, and we have half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna go first and sift through our dry ingredients. And we're going to cut in our butter, which is probably the most important step. We want to make sure it's nice and crumbly. It's really important that we sifted our ingredients first so they're not all clumped up. Got our butter in there. And the way we cut in the butter is we take two knives and we just cut, mixing in our dry. Careful not to mush any of the ingredients together so it stays crumbly. Take a minute, so just bear with me. It's worth it, I swear. Make sure you get the extra butter off your knives. Okay. Now that's all mixed in, I'm just gonna take a spoon and we're gonna pour 
what we just mixed over the apples and get it nice and even. I'm gonna try to cover the apples completely. Now that we've covered it, I'll just spread it out a little bit more. I already have my oven going at 375, so we're just going to pop this in. Set our timer for 40 minutes. Okay, and came a little prepared, so I already have one made. Uh, you just want to make sure that it goes for the full 40 minutes or until it's golden brown. So I this is, I think this is one of the easiest recipes, love doing it all the time, and I'm just really happy with the way it came out. So thank you!